G'day guys, we've got a circular motion question here today where we have a roller coaster loop and we're asked to find the minimum speed required for the passengers to not fall out of their chairs. So the minimum speed required for the carriages to pass through the loops safely. So to start this question off, what we're going to have to um, you know, have a look at is the forces that are going to be acting on the passengers throughout the loop. Now in this example, we're having to examine specifically at the top of the loop. So at the top of the loop, to start with, like we have on every uh, you know, object on this Earth, is we have an acceleration due to gravity towards the centre of the Earth. So we have a force going down due to gravity. Now, for this to um, be safe for the passengers, the, the gravitational acceleration or the force due to the gravitational acceleration has is going to have to be equal to or less than the force that's due to, that's caused by the <coughs> carriage's motion so we're going to have a force due to the carriage's motion in this direction let's call that ac so we've got two forces acting if we ignore friction Two forces acting on these passengers at the apex of the circle. We're going to have the force due to the acceleration of gravity, and we're going to have an opposite force due to the circular motion of the carriages. Okay. So if I was in an exam, what I would do now is I'd make a little bit of a statement, I'd, just so the teacher knows that I know what I'm talking about. I would say that the minimum velocity... And is when the acceleration due to the circular motion is equal to g. Cool. So if the acceleration of, cent uh, of the circular motion or centripetal acceleration is greater than g, then we're going to it's going to be going like faster than the minimum required speed. If it's less than g, then the passengers are going to fall out, and it's not going to be a safe ride. So it's the minimum speed when acceleration equals g. So what we're going to do is we're going to just break up these formulas. We know that g is equal to 9.8 meters per second to the negative 2. And we know that the formula for calculating the centripetal acceleration of an object is equal to v squared over radius. Great, so let's fill in what we know. We know that the radius is going to be equal to 7.4. Cool, so we can just then go velocity squared on 7.4 is equal to 9.8. Okay, we have a little bit of simple algebra. We can say the velocity is going to be equal to the square root of 9.8 times 7.4, which is equal to 8.52 meters a second. So. Basically, it's a relatively simple question. In an exam, this is probably worth two or three marks, maybe. You know, they're not going to expect this to take very long. All that this question is testing you on is that you understand that the minimum speed will occur when this acceleration due to the circular motion is equal to the acceleration due to gravity. Once you understand that those two have to be equal and opposite for the passengers to be safe, you can then just equate them like I've done here, substituting their corresponding formulas slash values, and then solve for velocity. And you bing, bang, pow, you've got your answer. So in the grand scheme of things, not a very complicated physics question, a good introduction to it. 
There are many, many variations of these roller coaster questions that involve kinetic and potential energy, etc. But this is a nice starting one. So I hope the video helped, guys, and I'll uh, see you again next time.